Hello and welcome to a, another episode of Lord Splodge Screencast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Hazel, the personal assistant file organizer cum utility that is from Noodlesoft. Um, you can download it by going to noodlesoft.com. There's a free 14 day trial. Now, we have looked at Hazel before, um, that's quite a while ago now, and version 3 is out. So we're going to take a look at what's new in version 3. On Noodlesoft's website, there is a little website. On Noodlesoft's website, there is this web page that gives a quick overview of what's available in Hazel 3. For example, you can now nest conditions for more complicated logic and get the most recent least recent largest or smallest files and you can sync the action keep one folder in step with another and you can add options when you import the file into iPhoto or Aperture and you've still got the naming system here uh, conditions can be based on the file enclosing folder or the folder subfiles and what I think is probably one of the better ones is rules can be now scheduled so I've downloaded the 14 day trial and it's mounted as a disk image and all we need to do is double click to install uh, I'm going to install it just for me this time. And goes, would you like to load some sample rules to get you started? Well, yes, why not? So that's Hazel installed. Um, now let's look at some of the sort of new options in Hazel 3. Hazel 3, just like Hazel 2, has the ability to throw away duplicate files and incomplete downloads after one month. Um, so that's a useful thing. Again, it's also got the ability to delete files sitting in trash for a user selectable amount of time to keep the trash size under a certain amount. And that's going to be very useful for people that have got the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Airs that have got the SSDs because you don't want your trash to grow uh, too big and you can choose to leave as is or delete it immediately again you can normally delete files all securely and you can enable app sweep and now multi-user app sweep to delete not only applications when you put them in the trash but all the associated files uh, such as library files and such that they may leave behind also in hazel 3 you can now choose to be notified by either growl or notification center depending on what you've got installed or what version of os 10 you have and you can show errors file events and trash events what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly set up a rule or move some files and show this in action. So what I've done here is I've quickly modified the old files rule in the downloads folder. And if all of the following conditions are met, the file has not been added in the last four weeks, we'll set the color to red. And I've added a move action to move it to the next folder up and on the options I've just said if it exists rename so what we'll do is we'll OK that uh, we'll enable the rule and we'll go and run the rules now and there we go it's moved the angry IP app from the downloads folder to the Lord's splodge folder so if we pop into the root of mine and it's just moved another one it's moved walk through one 
And I think that's the last. Let's have a little look in downloads. I should move the others um, eventually, but you see, you get the notification in the notification center. You'd also get these in Growl, like I said, if you use Growl. Um, so that's quite useful, actually, to be told that it's doing something. Um, I'm just going to disable the raw and put the two files back. And what we'll do now is we'll take a look at nested logic in Hazel. So I'm going to edit the old files rule again. And if you cast your mind back to the picture at the start, it showed you could have nested um, statements. Now, if you click plus here, you just get a new rule under the same initial if statement. So, you're going to wonder, how do I add it? Well, if you hold down the Alt key, it changes from a plus to three dots. You click that, and now you've got a, um additional if statement. So, if all the following, and then if n name is not, and so on and so forth. So, you can then do it again, and add another one, and you can nest it all the way down. You can make some quite complex rules here. Now, unfortunately, that brings out one of Hazel's weaknesses, is you've really got to go for trial and error to sort of get the um, rules to work. There is a forum where people post rules uh, at NoodleSoft, and they'll help you out. But initially, that can be a bit of a problem. Uh, we'll just cancel out of this. and. So going back into the old files rule again, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to add a we're going to remove the move action, and we're going to add a sync action, and this will let us keep a copy of that synchronized into another folder. So let's go into my here, and we'll add a new folder, and we'll call it sync and we'll create that and we'll choose that so now it should keep it will keep these in sync between the two folders so this folder and that folder will be the same so what we'll do again give it a quick run Now that didn't quite work how I expected it, so like I say in Hazel, sometimes you have to go do a bit of troubleshooting, so. But he can keep folders in sync with that. You can also archive and unarchive, which is quite useful. You can set a folder up where when you drag stuff into it, it'll automatically archive it or unarchive it. And you can import into iTunes one of your uh, playlists, either into the library or into music, movies, and any playlists you've uh, created. Or you can import it into iPhoto, into a appropriate library. And you can rename, and then we've got the the pattern field here uh, name you can say title case lowercase uppercase or replace the text give it the extension you want or we can just drag these little lozenges in so now it'll be item document and the extension we can add the date again all these are customizable you can edit the date pattern adjust the date and you can just stick a number change on the end there so this will create item document 2013 six, seven, and the extension hazel 3 differs enough from hazel 2 to make it more useful 
So I hope this quick overview has shown you um, a little of what's new in Hazel 3. And if you have Hazel 2, it's worth upgrading to Hazel 3. And if you've never used Hazel and you use files and folders on your Mac a lot, it's well worth the $25 um, that NoodleSoft are charging for it. So uh, go and buy it. Okay, that's it for this time. Thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed the show.